Hello everyone, welcome to my backyard. I am working at my potter's bench and I have grown elephant garlic this year and I'm telling you, it was huge. One head of garlic was as big as an onion. <clears throat> so, I decided that I was going to dry it and then it got wet. So now I am going to roast it. So I'm bringing it in the house. I'm peeling all of the uh, wet skin off that got wet while I was drying it and uh, it rained on it. So now I'm just peeling it, cleaning it up, washing the dirt off. And now I'm cutting about a quarter of an inch from the top and I'm going to roast this garlic. So we're going to make a little cup to put the garlic in, um, cut side up so that we can drizzle olive oil over the top and add a little bit of coarse sea salt. Now, if this was just a normal size head of garlic, it would, um, you would just cut the top off, drizzle it with oil, just like I'm doing here, and sprinkle the salt on. But these are so huge, they fell apart when I was cleaning them. So we're just going to make the best of it. Roast these in these little tinfoil cups. It takes about an hour to roast, especially something this big. So I'm going to wrap these up completely with the foil. Pop them in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. After the hour, you can see that they were kind of juicy and they're all soft and so smushy. <laughs> is the only word I have for it, but my house smelled amazing. So I'm going to make some garlic butter. I melted one stick of butter and I added one of those large cloves of garlic and mixed it in well with my butter. Then just poured this over into a bowl and I can keep it in the refrigerator for when I want to make garlic bread. So I'll mix that up well, put it in the refrigerator, and then the rest of the cloves of garlic, after they have cooled, I'm going to put them in the freezer and freeze them until they are hard and then I'm going to add them or put them into a bowl so that I can use them later. They will thaw quickly and you could add them to a recipe very easily once they've thawed. Just squeeze them out of their paper shell. So I hope that you guys will give this a try. It's my first time. My sister does this often. So we'll uh, see how this turns out for me. And I hope you uh, will give me some comments and let me know if you've tried this.